Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is how to time your D16Z6, JDM D15B, or D15Z1 engine. Um, first, you're going to want to remove the two bolts that hold on the plastic cover that goes over the cam gear. They're ten, two 10 millimeter bolts. It's not too hard to do, just two bolts. Next, you're going to want to get a paint pen of any color, really, it doesn't matter. You're going to want to mark this lower line here. And it's going to match up with this indicator mark, it's like a pointer here. Um, also, you're going to want to do the same thing to the crank pulley. The crank pulley has a mark on it also. It's the single mark. There's three marks off to the left. Um, let's see if I can get you a really good view here. There's three here. One, two, three. The middle one is for ignition timing. That's about where you want it to be set. Um, this right here, we're not going to worry about the ignition timing. We're going to worry about manual timing. This is top dead center, this yellow dot. You're going to want that to line up with the indicator right there. Also, I put a yellow dot. This little piece right here is like a, it's like a sight on a gun. You're going to want to look straight through it, and it should line up top dead center. This is top dead center. Um, it seems like it's off by a little bit, but that's where it should be. Over too far is advanced, and over too far back is retarded. You're going to want it right where it's at. Some cars vary a little bit depending on slack and tension in the uh, timing belt. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want the 14 millimeter wrench, or ratchet, sorry, and you're going to want to remove or loosen this lower bolt down here. I have already pre-loosened it to make the video a little faster. Just a few uh, a few turns to the left, make it loose, will do. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull on the belt like this. Take the belt off. If you're just timing the car, it jumped a tooth or so, but you're not really going to have to do too much but you'll take the belt you will take the 12 millimeter you will adjust it however much it jumped and then you're going to put the belt back on pulling up evenly distributing it now as you can see the mark down here moved we're going to want to realign that right with that pointer and then you see how it has a little tension or it needs a little tension on this side Take it and tighten it just enough to barely move it. That puts the tension needed on both sides. Take your 14, tighten the bolt up. I had that pretty loose. Tighten it back up. Now you've got good tension on both sides. The lower mark is lining up. This mark right here is lining up right where it was. And that's it for the timing. That's all it takes to time your D16Z6, D15Z1, or JDM D15B, whichever motor it is. These all have the same timing marks. This little pointer here lines up to that pointer there. Um, this could be off by a tooth, maybe, but we'll start it up and find out. Uh, but that's where I had it when I got the car, so it was running fine there. So we'll start it up and see how it runs. <laughs> Seems to run pretty smooth. The timing must have been right where it needed to be. Which I already knew that, but still. Check the throttle response just to be sure. Oh yeah, it's got the response it needs. Um, yeah, I figured I'd make this video. Um, I was going to do a different video on how to install an aftermarket cam gear, but the keyway I needed is messed up. So I'll have to do that in a later video. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any sub uh, submissions 